John Brannon's first coaching job came at the University of Charleston in West Virginia, where his boss was head coach Jason G. Now their roles have been reversed. This week, Terry visits with the UC assistant coach. Coach G from Springfield, Ohio, went to University of Charleston in West Virginia. Talk about that experience. Phenomenal experience. I hadn't left the community of Springfield, Ohio until I did an official visit to the University of Charleston. And, uh, was blown away at the coaches and the players and the theme and the mentality that they had and certainly was a life-changing experience. It's that same University of Charleston where you got your first head coaching job and you hire a young John Brennan as your assistant coach. How was it working with him? One of my deepest regrets. <laughs> no, <laughs> no um, I, had, I had a kid that was returning first team all conference player that uh, I knew there were some things that I couldn't give him. So hiring John Brennan uh, gave him that, a guy that could drive somebody and drill them and teach them and skill development. This young man ended up being a national player of the year, and I tell people all the time, had I not brought John Brennan on, he would, he would have been a great player, obviously, but he would not have been a national player of the year. So I knew from a very young, young age, and even though it was his start in coaching, mm. that he had a gifted, giftedness about leading men and about uh, interacting with young people and about developing them as, as people and as, as players. And he was an outstanding talent, and obviously that's proven to be true. 30 years coaching collegiately, so your profile is get a green check by it, you're verified. <laughs> so tell me about what drives you right now. My passion for young people, I love, um, I, I believe I've, I've been called to, to coach. It's really my passion, it's my ministry. Mm -hmm. I look at the players as my sheep and I shepherd them. Uh, and so their lives, their opportunities, their development, really, really motivates me to keep doing what I'm doing. You're an author. I'm an author. You wrote a book, Battle <laughs> mm -hmm. for Brandon. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, at, at 11 years old, the doctors tried to tell me my son was going to be in day treatment facilities and hospitals for the rest of his life. And I just told them they were liars, that I was going to pray and ask God to, for healing. And three years later, uh, he walked out of the hospital and now he's 26 years old and, and doing great. And, and uh, a, a former booster of mine called me and said, God had told him to make a motion picture out of it. And I'm like, out of what? And he said, out of your story about Brandon. And so uh, Jennifer Gardner has now come alongside and re-narrated the documentary, and she's going to be on our one of the producers. And in about 2021 or 22, you're going to see a movie at the theaters called Battle for Brandon. Just a great story. We spoke to Coach G about that just last night, and the movie is in the works. The trailer is awesome. I mean, you talk about the amount of people that – are, are being interviewed in that. And there's people right now going through casting calls to see if they can play the roles for that. It's gonna be a story that's gonna to touch a lot of people because these are the silent stories that never get heard. Denzel Washington in the role of Terry Nelson. Come on now. <laughs>